Okay, just a quick follow-up on that last video I just uh, recorded. I checked my measurements and at 200 volts, I forget, I think, yeah, 200 volts at uh, 20 milliamps, it was 4 amps. So I was way under on my resistance. I was lucky that the half watt uh, resistor was able to take four uh, watts. Now mind you it uh, drops down fairly quickly obviously it, at that uh, resistance I think it was a uh, 10k that I was at yeah I think I'm pretty sure it was 10k so that's why all the measurements were all you know 200 20 milliamps 10k they were all uh, how you say it uh, rounded off to good numbers as opposed to like 4.7k it would have thrown things off a little bit so it seems that uh, I had to go all the way up to 100k see it there I went up to a hundred K uh, well the voltage is starting to drop here now a little bit but I tried a couple different measurements and did some calculations and at uh, I think it was 270 volts uh, at a hundred K it worked out to uh, 0 0.837, 0 0.84 uh, watts. Now that's about three quarters of a watt, a little higher than three quarters of a watt. But uh, I, I, I think I'll go with that. That seems like a real reasonable, uh, and it's going to be for a short time anyway. So I put it on. As you can see, it's point. 2.6 milliamps it's going down it's not going down fast it's going down not nearly as fast as before obviously it's only discharging at uh, well one tenth the rate you know said 20 milliamps is 2 milliamps two and a half milliamps so uh, yeah so it's it's great to have these substitution boxes for this for this one main reason you know you'd be digging through your resistance uh, box there and pulling out resistors and trying to determine which resistors you needed for how many watts and then you'd have to uh, hook it up and uh, start draining it but actually even though it's 236 volts it's still running 2 amps so but I, I think that's probably in the tolerance right now actually it's just a second here say we'll go 230 and it was 2 2.29 all right let's just do this real quick so it was 230 volts times Point zero zero two three, I think it was. So yeah, so it's it's pretty well at half a watt, point five three, and that's what they're rated for. Continuous is half a watt, one watt maximum. I was running closer to one watt than. Uh, half a watt, but uh, oh, <laughs> it's touching. I thought I turned it off, but it was touching anyway. So yeah, it's down to 2.1 now. So yeah, I'll just let it discharge here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it just happened to be touching. So okay, that each one of these videos are. 
just to help somebody that may not have a resistance box. So with these simple con uh, calculations, you can figure out roughly what resistors you need and can go from that. And coming, discharging at two milliamps is probably a, a good discharge rate. It's definitely not going to hurt the uh, capacitor. And even 20 milliamps isn't going to hurt this great big capacitor anyway. So I was more concerned about the resistance substitution box where they're only rated at a half a watt. But uh, I could have uh, found maybe a 10 kilo ohm resistor. I don't know if I have one or not. But if I found a a 10 kilo ohm resistor at say 5 watts I wouldn't have to worry about it so that's just something that you can think about have a great day cheers